Notice we're starting in the kitchen this morning, and uh, our next guest is uh, in for its award-winning pizzas and calzones. That's what you know them for, but they also have some tasty summer dishes to indulge in. That's what. Here from Grimaldi's to show us what they have to offer is Randy Bartow. Oh, we're excited, Randy. So are we. We love we can start with pizza. Yeah, seriously, in my yeah, house, I can eat pizza. Day, right? I can eat it like three times a <laughs> sure, day, maybe sure. even four we times. Hope so. I love, love, love pizza, especially Grimaldi's. I think we need to start things off. What makes Grimaldi's so special? Well, uh, Grimaldi's has its roots in mm -hmm. New York City. I mean, we began there and we've uh, expanded nationwide. We've got 43 restaurants now, but it, it's really about keeping it simple, keeping it basic. Um, we have our cheese made specifically for us. It's a very low moisture cheese. It's hand sliced every day. So it's a quality product. Uh, the dough is made inside of our restaurants every day. Our cheesecake's made inside of our restaurants every day. It's, it's keeping that quality um, over all of those years. I mean, we, we trace back to 1905 for our wow. style. Uh, and it's all baked in a coal oven. There's no gas, there's no wood, there's no false to it. It's, it's the real deal. We're burning a bunch of rocks anthracite coal wow. uh, heats that oven up to about 1200 degrees in some areas and we cook all of our pizzas right at about 600 so it lends to a very unique smoky flavor and texture on that dough that you just can't get it any other way well and you have the classics and then now you're changing it up a little bit for some new summer menu items so don't change it too much no no what no, are no we no. doing here we stay to our roots well uh, it's it's summer it's all yeah. about barbecue mm -hmm. it's all about those fresh berry flavors and those those uh, um, nice accompaniments that go along with that uh, so we feature our barbecue pizza, uh, barbecue sauce, grilled chicken, uh, red onions, bacon, fresh cilantro on on uh, on top, baked inside that coal oven, and it's just it's it's the perfect uh, summer flavor. And now, obviously, my eye goes to pizza, as I'm sure you're yeah. at home. We all probably do, but we're also going to put a little healthy spin on it. We are. Company the pizza, good set. Hey, this is healthy. It, yeah, you know, it's protein. Dairy, protein. You see some right? green on there. Sure. You are speaking my language. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. I, I live off of my food groups come from pizza. Well, but and, and this also... is a meal in and of itself as well. I mean, we wanted to share with you uh, the ability to be able to make a very simple and uh, high quality summer salad, starting with some fresh baby spinach. And then we have our house made strawberry vinaigrette. And that's just a red wine based vinaigrette. Some fresh red onions. I like it. Fresh sliced strawberries. And you know what's so interesting thinking about the dressing? It used to be, I want to say, like, you know, back in the day, you think of like a chain restaurant, which Grimaldi's, you do have several locations. You, you wouldn't think of those fresh ingredients. Oh, you yeah. wouldn't think mm -hmm. of those house made, you know, dressings that we're seeing right here. But now it seems like restaurants, you really do have to put your own spin on everything. Absolutely. It, well, you know, restaurants used to be everybody tasted the same, everybody made the mm -hmm. same items. Yeah. So they were trying to be all things to all people. And uh, we pride ourselves in being unique. Uh, so having some of those unique flavors, although you can find these ing ingredients on many other menus, um, doing it the way that we do it, you just won't find anywhere mm -hmm. else. I love that. What's your most popular pizza? What do you sell most? Yeah, uh, America's think? favorite, pepperoni. Pepper sure. It is pepperoni? Absolutely. It's nice, thick, sliced. Um, and it's a year dry aged, which mm -hmm. will lend to the extra little spiciness that goes on top of that. Ah. Yeah. Yep. Starts out a little bit larger than what you see inside the restaurant. Is there and a then, pizza and salad special? I thought I went there recently and thought. At our West Shore location, okay. they do. They have a lunch special that you're able to take advantage of um, that has uh, the um, individuals. Yeah, as, yeah, as yeah. That's what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yep, and absolutely. for the price, it was such a good. I remember price one point time, you were talking about staying authentic. I remember going one time and the ovens had just either, help me, got cleaned Stoking. or. Stoking. There you go. That's, that's what right. I was going to say. That's but, right. I mean, that's Stoking. That's fabulous. And well, yeah, you know, you had to wait for a few minutes longer, but it made for a great tasting pizza regardless. Think about barbecuing at home. You're using the charcoal, right, instead of gas. Uh -huh. You're using charcoal at home and it spins. It, it uses and burns up all that charcoal. Coal is the exact same way. So you can only get so much heat and so much time out of it. Um, so so we have to go in every day at four o'clock and we'll go in and we'll uh, stoke the fire. And that, that basically just means we're going to tend to the fire okay. is, is, hmm. is the definition. How long it. does that shut production uh, down? It takes about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the. So maybe the, not go right at four o'clock. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, if you did end, end up at four o'clock, then you're able to take advantage of our starters. Okay, there you go. Any of our uh, drinks. Start with dessert. Or first. a glass, glass of wine. wine. Right? Glass of wine. wine. Happy hour, right? Well, we have our stoking hour. Uh, we do offer uh, in, in the majority of our locations as much as $15 off per bottle. Okay. Um, a couple bucks off each glass of wine, uh, draft beers. 
as well as some of our cocktails, and we're going to make a cocktail for you. You know what I love, too? Covered. Well, yeah, let's get to that because yeah. we're almost out of time. We've been talking too much. Um, but I love when you go into the location, you feel like you're in New York. You know, yes. it's all about, it's not just a foodie destination. That's it right. really is. It feels like you're you're there. Uh-oh. Oh, I was going to say, you need. first ice. time on we the show, ice back and he's doing the search. Oh, there it is. This is what Carly and I are <laughs> I usually it. known for. It's like, oh, wait, where did we put this? Where did we put that? Look, he's got it. He's taking care of it. My ice. I was going to say. I didn't want it to melt on us because you don't want to. And you know what? Really, you usually don't need ice in our studio. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and our okay. citron vodka. Hurry. And what are we whipping up here real fast? This is our uh, berry ginger fizz. So let's yeah. citron vodka, elderberry liqueur, lemon juice, <laughs> fresh lemon juice, and Florida cane syrup. Sorry about that. Hey, I would have believed anything yeah. you would have said. And, so you could have rolled, and some raspberries. Some fresh raspberries. That we know. Well, good stuff. Thank you so much Absolutely. for coming in. Shaking it up there. Really Shaking it up for summer too. Shaking Come up. back anytime, all right? Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers to that. Well, up next.